I am Captain Evelyn, commanding officer of the Tyrant. You are Darth Tormund's bounty hunter? I don't answer to Tormund, or you. Then consider this an urgent request. Republic Special Forces slipped on board during our troop withdrawal. They've completely overrun the command decks. It won't be long before we lose the bridge. If you act quickly, we might be able to turn things around. Darth Tormund can't handle this himself? He went to deal with the attackers personally, but his soldiers are sealed off from the bulk of the fighting. The board has initiated a complete lockdown, trapping our defenders and the subdecks. I need you to undo their tampering. With their overrides disabled, we can unseal the lock decks from the bridge, so Darth Tormund and his soldiers can retake control. I won't let you down. If I didn't believe that, I wouldn't have asked. I'm transmitting the location of the ship's network junctions. Restore the systems and we can handle the rest. I've opened the docking bays and disabled our weapons. You can make a safe landing if you hurry. The window of opportunity is... Now or never. If we're going to land, we better do it before the boarders get the turbo lasers back online. We're in for a rough landing. Business as usual, then? <sighs> Figures I'd have a big lunch. You must be the bounty hunter Captain Evelyn contacted. Thanks for the rescue. Once they killed the captain, we thought the fight was as good as done. I've restored control of the bridge. We need a few minutes to override the lockdown. But we're finished if we have to hold off another attack. Will you assist in defending the bridge? I didn't blast through here because I was bored. Oh, uh, no, of course not. Um, thank you. Get those lower decks unsealed, ASAP. My lord, it's a relief to see you unscathed. Where is Captain Evelyn? I... he... The, the captain's dead, sir. My lord. And yet you avoided his fate. Yes, I, I mean, no. We were sur... Ouch. I have you to thank for a ship. Yeah, you're welcome. Have this ship operational by the time we are finished. I am mobilizing my entire division to Corellia. Their rebellion will be crushed. Corellia will fall, but military victory will not be enough. I do not want the Republic merely defeated. They must submit. And a corpse can't grovel. I get it. Who do you want? There is a massive resistance supporting the Republic's defense of Corellia. You will secure the rebel leaders. I will make them kneel. When the Rebellion bows before Corellia's rightful leaders, our trap will be set. What happens once this trap is sprung? A compact will be signed publicly. Corellia's governor will demand that the Supreme Chancellor ratify the treaty and withdraw Republic forces. The Supreme Chancellor will have to acknowledge that the Corellians have chosen Imperial rule. But not before Jun Saros convinces him that his Jedi can turn the tide. I've only seen Saros operate through proxies. He was undefeated on every front he led during the last war. He will not sit idle while Corellia falls. I have sent my forces ahead, under command of General Krau. Meet with him and proceed according to plan. When the Tyrant is hyperspace capable, I will join you. What? Let's get on with this bounty hunter. I have troops to deploy. Darth Tormund demands that I dispatch you to capture Chairman Harlan Fane of the Corellian Corporate Council. Where can I find Chairman Fane? Fane and the other representatives have locked themselves up in their council tower in defiance of Imperial rule. His exact location isn't known. But it is likely that he and the other senior representatives are holed up in the tower's upper executive offices. Get me a shuttle and I'll take things from the top. The anti-aircraft coverage over in Corporation Island would atomize you immediately. Ground assault is the only option. Resistance will be heavy, 
But the Council Tower has several structural weaknesses we can exploit. The only thing stopping you from accessing the tower through the main lobby is sheer manpower. I'll expect a warm welcome. You'll have their undivided attention. I hope you're prepared for it. The executive suites have a private lift that will bypass most of the intervening levels. It'll require an access key used by senior staff. Also, unless you'd like to be trapped inside a lift shaft, you'll need to attack the tower's security center and disable their lift override controls. Solid plan, General. I've got it from here. Once those objectives have been completed, you should have a straight shot to the upper levels. And remember, you're to deliver Chairman Fane alive and intact. Dismissed. Wait, wait! Sir, they're dangerous. Don't know the half of it. They're also not Imperial soldiers. This is clearly a question of money, not loyalty. Am I right? I got my reasons for being here. Money's only one of them. Look, I'm a powerful man. I can open a lot of doors. Let's work something out. The private sector always needs good talent, and we'll pay you what you're worth. Why collect one paltry bounty when I can pay you a fortune in regular wages? Take care of the Republic's price on my head, and we'll talk. A fresh start? Harder to grease the right palm since the Prime Minister sold out to the Empire, but it's possible. What spooked him? It's you! Fire! Fire! We can work this out! The Empire can have Corelli. I'll, I'll slip off world and, and retire somewhere in the colonies! Make me drag you out of there, and they'll have to shoot your next press conference from the neck up. Don't hurt me. I'm unarmed. I can't stop you. I'll go quietly. You've obtained Chairman Fane. Good. We proceed on schedule. General, see to the bounty hunter's reward. Yes, my lord. Our next objective is to bring Corellia's beasts to heal. You will be the one to break them. Broken? I can do. The Corellians cohabit with a number of species. The most numerous and organized are the Salonians. The Republic needs to see the Salonians accede to the Empire. A representative must be acquired. There's someone specific you have your eye on? One particularly tenacious animal leads packs of raiders to undermine our front lines. It will make as good an example as any. General Trow will brief you on the battle plan. When you have the creature, bring it to me in Axial Park. Planning to take it for a walk? Do not keep me waiting. Trying to locate the Salonian raiders in the guts of Coronet City would be almost futile. Instead, You'll target an invaluable Salonian resource, and force these raiders to defend it. What's important enough that they'd risk fighting on our terms? Salonians rely on a small breeding caste to reproduce. With their future at stake, the Salonians will have no choice but to act. Raid the Salonian warrens under Labor Valley, take your hostages, and hold them at these coordinates. There's no glory in bullying the weak. Once you begin pulling the mothers from their dens, even the civilians will attack you with unmitigated ferocity. These shock collars will keep the alien filth in line while you lead them to the ambush coordinates. When your objective is complete, report directly to Darth Tormen in Axial Park. Just follow the sound of destruction. I'm not the one who should consider surrendering. We can respect that, right? 
sexta lección en que pasó. Save your concern for yourself. It's out of your hands now. Sleep tight. Your representative, Darth Tormund. Impressive. For an animal. The trap is nearly set. All that remains is to capture the last figurehead of Corellia's old regime. Corellia's civil police force commissioner. Somehow Commissioner Carter survived the initial purge of dissenters before Prime Minister Falcone delivered Corellia to us. Did the assassination attempt spook him into hiding? Hardly. Since the purge, Commissioner Carter has rallied the rebellion. The public sees him as the last legitimate voice of the Corellian people. Carter and his Corsac officers are the backbone of the civilian resistance. Corsac is one thing. But I'm not keen on dragging any more bystanders into this war. It will not be an issue. Corsac's old headquarters is now a formidable fortress. Our forces are laying siege to it as we speak. Their standing orders are to block off any escape. That is all. I won't be calling for backup. Contact me when Commissioner Carter is in custody. My troops will cover your exit. Well, look at you. Waltzing in here like you own the place. Come to finish what they started? Go on and kill me. You'll have a million citizens rioting in the streets by sundown. Huh. Guess I'd be in real trouble if I were here to kill you. If you aren't out for blood, why are you here? I'm a bounty hunter. What do you think? I think you're greedy, amoral scum, here to sell me to the highest bidder. Imperials, I bet. I hear something. Keep this quick. The people you're working for, they aren't spice runners or thugs looking for a quick fortune. They're despots. Do this and you'll force billions of people to bow before the Sith. Is the Empire paying you enough to clear your conscience of that? Better they bow than continue to get caught in the crossfire. You're a real gentleman. Thanks for the chat. Now I know that what I've been doing is making a difference. Hit him! Surrounded! You got me. Good for you. You want a medal? You and me, this battle, the war, not even a blink in the grand scheme of things. Corellia has been around a lot longer than the Sith's little upstart empire, and it'll be around long after the Empire falls. I've been to Terrace, Commissioner. The Empire knows how to make a lasting impression. They, they wouldn't go that far, would they? You really want to take that risk? Sleep on it. Tormund, the Commissioner is secure. Good. Our forces have control of the Corellian Legislature. Deliver Commissioner Carter to the Grand Assembly. Your reward... Prepare the Commissioner for the surrender. My Lord! Your success is noted. So's your gratitude. Enjoy the fruits of your labor. Watch these rebels sign our enemy's death warrant. Might as well see this through.
Supreme Chancellor Janaris, respected members of the Galactic Senate, the Corellian people have chosen. We will not continue to be held captive by a failed system. I ask... No, I demand that Supreme Chancellor Janaris ratify this treaty and acknowledge Corellia as a sovereign system of the Sith Empire. It was only a matter of time. As Prime Minister for Life, let me be the first to welcome you to Imperial Corellia, my lord. Had you delivered what you promised, you would enjoy a longer reign. That how you conclude all your business? When the agreement is not upheld. Now, we wait. Darth Tormund desires your presence immediately. This way, please. A large Republic fleet has entered the system. It includes the founder, Supreme Chancellor Janaris's personal flagship. These reinforcements are attempting to consolidate at the Green Gardens. You know who leads them. Seros has been spotted. He is a conspicuous leader. June Seros seeks to urge Coronet City's Green Jedi out of their enclave and press the attack. When their forces are amassed, the Republic will attempt one last offensive. You have until then to reap your vengeance. I work at my own pace. If Seros leads his attack, he will die. I will not surrender ground for your vendetta. Attacking June Seros within his headquarters is the only way to be sure crucial data is in his possession. Dispose of Seros. Quietly. No one must know of his demise. Bring his effects to me. An intruder! Go. Do your part to liberate Corellia. This is a private matter. You don't want to get in the middle of this. Are you certain, June? You know what's required of you. Go. As you wish. May the Force be with you. You're persistent. Stubborn. I suppose that's why you excel at what you do, but the price is high. What won't a Mandalorian put aside for pride? What I do is who I am. What you do is ruin lives for profit. Nothing I did altered that truth. You chose to murder Kelly and Jaro, just like you chose to kill everyone sent to bring you to justice. You could have surrendered at any time. You chose to become a murderer and terrorist. I only turned all that senseless destruction toward a righteous purpose. Killing my associates and slinging mud? Real noble. They made their decision, just like you made yours. If using you to expose the Sith's true face has dirtied my hands, so be it. It's time to answer for your crimes. You read my mind. I won't be the one after all. Now whose pride's getting them into trouble? Savor your vengeance. It's a small victory. You've denied me nothing here. In failure, I've undone all your accomplishments. In death, I return to the Force. What are you playing at, Seros? I've lost the battle, but won the war. <coughs> By now, my peers are well on their way to rescuing your captives and tearing up your sham treaty.
pathetic. I did not see Seros. You were successful? I didn't have any difficulty dispatching my Jedi. Only Jedi would call something this fragile battle master. Killed a few Sith in my time, Tormen. Then they were feeble. The Sith are stronger for having such weakness stamped out. His death is a crippling blow to the Jedi Order. And without Jun Seras at his side, the Supreme Chancellor is exposed. Victory is close. That's going to get us the Supreme Chancellor. Once the encryption is broken, we will know this data's true value. You know more than you're letting on. Jun Seros came here aboard the Founder. He was privy to its security protocols, landing codes, even the Supreme Chancellor's itinerary. My subordinates will transmit the relevant data to your vessel when it's prepared. Until then, make yourself useful to Darth Decimus. The battle for Corellia is not yet decided. <laughs>